Hello viewers, this is Faiza Vaseem and in this video we will discuss the basic architecture of data warehouse that what is the, uh, uh, you can say what is the structure of data warehouse. So as you can see here there are basically four uh, layers in, in the architecture of data warehouse. The first layer is uh, source systems that is also known as the operational sources. The second layer is the staging area, third layer is presentation area and final uh, layer is and user access tools or and user access and applications. So uh, what happens in architecture of data warehouse the data comes from multiple external sources as you can see there are multiple external sources that data comes in the architecture from multiple diverse sources and then ETL process is carried out in the uh, data staging here. Uh, this is the data staging here in this ETL process is carried out. In ETL process the data is extracted from the multiple diverse sources and uh, transformed into the uh, consistent manner or you can say in uh, integrated manner and then load into the data warehouse. In data warehouse there, there, can, be, uh, there can be multiple data marks. As you can see here, what is data mart? Data mart is simply the subset of data warehouse and uh, then data is uh, moving far, far towards the uh, op presentation layer in presentation layer multiple olap servers are used like molap rolap molap stands for multidimensional or rolap stands for relational so in multidimensional data is stored in the form of cubes as you can see here and in relational databases uh, the uh, data is stored in the form of tables rows and columns and then finally data uh, data forwards to the uh, end user access tool layers in this layer the user will be able in order to uh, access the different types of information or can uh, make different decisions based on that data and this is a complete architecture of data warehouse in which basically four layers are there so thank you so much